Hello guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'll do unboxing of this uh, folding goat bike from the goat plow bikes. So we'll do unboxing, assembly, and we'll go for the speed test and of course the heel test as well and see how the bicycle perform. All right, so let's see what is inside this small box. I think I already know pretty much. Same thing with another one head. It would be pretty large headlight, even for the folding bike. Nice, very bright headlight. The tools, and the tools that comes uh, with a kind of multi-tool, which um, even chain remover. So it has um, also a wrench, um, also to remove the tires. So it does come with some kind of nice, useful kit for the bicycle. Over here there's a uh, PEX, black color, but you can uh, always purchase green, like red and orange from the website. And the charger right here. And the charger is 3 amp charger, which should be fine. First I'm gonna install the wheel, so you would need to remove both nuts from both sides. That's what I like to do it, both sides to remove it. It will be much easier to install it, so you remove the nut and washer and also locking washer and you do on the same same thing on the another side so before installing the wheel you would remove over here uh its protector in the brakes the red piece like plastic so it's inserted between the pads then you would lift the up by step on this plastic the fork protector you don't need it and you would insert the wheel make sure you put the brakes between the pads and that's it next you would put a locking washer uh, like this then just a washer on top of it and use this nut the one you removed to tighten up and you do the same thing on the other side and then you use a wrench to tighten both nuts from both sides. The next step uh, to attach the handlebar before doing this, it's a folding bike actually. So you need to, this folding steam to put back and then locking the latch from the side. It's very easy. After you do this, you would need to remove four bolts from this. And actually I like a uh, good bike because everything's so solid. Uh, very good like bolts like almost twice size than regular bikes electric bicycle comes with so it's good for safety when you are riding off-road it's make it much stronger so you would remove these four bolts and the bracket then you take the handlebar bring it all the way up and let's see to make sure it's uh, on the right side like this Put the bracket back and reattach with the same bolt you just removed. So the next step you would need to attach this uh, turn lights and over here you will find nut from this side so you just tighten up from one side and same thing you will find this one just pull in okay and not right over here and you just uh, tighten up this knot I do with hand first and then I'll use a wrench to tighten up a little bit and then you would need to attach this headlight it's pretty simple you would need to remove these two bolts from both sides and this one is a rubber rubber like washer you remove it on both sides and this washer going uh, from the side from this side and over here you would reattach with this bolt the one you removed and same thing you would do on another side and then you would just retighten
I didn't tighten very well headlight because I need to pull out this uh, cable, like the wire, and reattach it with another one. And you just match this two arrow, and the cable is blue color. You just match it and push from both sides, plug in. That's it. Now you can retighten these two nuts, two bolts. And next step will be the fender attaching. So you would remove this uh, bolt and also to bolt from the side and another side. So once you remove it, you insert it and reattach it. Very simple. And here's how it's gonna look. So the fender will be attached from behind and right over here and looks great, amazing. And now it's time to attach the pegs. So the pegs come with the letter R, it means for the right side, letter L for the left side. This way. Once it's tight, you can use this hex key, it came with Allen key, insert it and tighten up a little bit. That's it. And then you do the same thing on the other side. And the uh, folding gold is almost assembled. Now I need to make sure all the bolts are retightened, all the nuts, put some air pressure correctly, and charge the battery. And here's how folding gold will look after you assemble it. It's assembly, very easy. Everything uh, attached just perfectly because uh, good quality. Uh, I'll go over the, some spec, but first I want to show you how it will be uh, like me 511 sitting on it and this i can lift the hand uh, the seat up if i want to but that's how it will be the handlebar can move forward or backward like uh, backward close to me if i want to so it basically it's very adjustable and the seat i'll show you how low the seat can go as well so the seat can go very low like probably about maybe under 29 inches because the frame from the ground up it's about 26 and a half inches so you can um, decide if it fit you or not and then it can go all the way up like this this is the tallest position of the seat and then you can move the handlebar forward so somebody probably six and two or even taller can easily fit on this bike probably even taller because the bike actually very large uh, I didn't expect it will be that large, but uh, looks great. It's good stability because it's longer. As you can see, it's very long bike. It's almost like a cargo size. Actually, the rack is very long as well. This uh, folding gold comes with a packs or with a pedal. So it's your choice to choose one one when you place an order. It comes with a dual mud guards plastic which is not that noisy also it comes with a very long uh, rack which is very good durable and uh, very nice beautiful seat comfortable folding gold also comes with a large headlight and signal light a light also as a signal light and and a braking light you can notice the suspension stand out front fork and it's uh, not just basic fork as uh, some bicycle have, it's also have a adjustable uh, load, preload, and also locking mechanism over here. It's uh, for locking the fork. It does come with a, a rear suspension right over here, so full linkage suspension. And it works pretty good actually, you can feel the ride, it's m very soft and it does have really nice hydraulic 180 millimeter disc brakes front and rear and it's by Rongland brand and they stop really good actually uh, works really nice and very soft uh, it comes with a nice uh, display and controller over here so to turn light on you press the light signal lights turning left to the right or middle will turn it off come with a horn and i'm on the bright sun right now but you can still see uh, i know on the camera usually different but you can still see the display it comes with five or three level of assist if you have a pedals 
without pedals it's still speed depend on the assist level so if you're going on the pedal assist level one the speed will go not to the top one but as a top speed it can go about 29 miles an hour and you will see battery life over here temperature and the date and time it's a full throttle very nice grips and the handlebar i like the handlebar a very great handlebar so you can actually adjust it if you are a shorter person you can move the forward to you okay close to you or if you're a tall person you can move away from you so it will be kind of more convenient to hold it and sit the seat is, uh, can be adjusted as well, pretty for tall person or the shorter as well. And it does have a handle over here, but the bike actually is heavy, so I don't think you're gonna carry it often. Come with a Kendra Crusade tires, 20 by 4, wide bread, and I think they are uh, puncture resistant as well. The PSI can go up to 30 PSI, so you can put a lot of pressure in, in these tires as well and it's a all terrain tires so you can ride it off-road or on regular road uh, and um, the cable management right underneath going and the frame actually longer if you look over here it's a massive because over here a uh, huge battery 48 by 15 amp which is 70 720 hours and i believe over here is controller located and this is a latch in order to open you just move this part here and open up on this side you'll find charging hole but as you can see there's no plug so i noticed um, they missed the plug over here but you can um, charge it off the, you would have to remove the battery for the first time and then on the battery you would remove this plug you can just rip it off insert it back and then you can charge it on the bike but you'll have the hole over here so you might want to find some plug to cover up if you need to if you're riding in the rain so you might want to cover it the, the folding um, goat has a 1000 uh, watt motor and uh, it comes with a reflector on the wheels as well so this bike fully loaded with a signal light with um also it will give you laser um projection on the floor when you're riding at night since this bike is uh with the packs no pedals you will not see the derailleur of course so less parts on this bike so it means less braking and but it's still a lot of fun to ride and if you get the pedals so you'll have derailleur of course chain crank and also the shifter over here but this one is much easier so it's about maybe two pounds less since uh, there's no pedals here's how to use gold power bikes you press the power button over here the display will be on and on this side you'll find a headlight to turn it on to turn it off also the signal light left and right on middle will be turning off and over here is a horn pretty loud and um, to manage the to change this display i'll show you as well by pressing power button once will change a diameter then to trip as well and um, miles how many miles you rode so it give you more information uh, by pressing plus and minus it'll go to the settings menu you don't really need a password over here and um, i'll show you close over here as well so you can go by pressing minus going down you have um, more information uh, which one you can change and uh, i don't recommend to change much you can change temperature if you want celsius or fahrenheit also you can reset um, i think the trip meter and um, how fast the bike it's set to unlimited right now but you can going uh, down and change um, diameter of the wheel that's what i want to show you i changed diameter of the wheel because i had like 20 and i changed 23 and it comes a little bit uh, tricky so you press you select in yellow and then you press 
PAL and over here you will see 0, 2, 3, point zero so plus and minus only will move up and down so in order to move to the next level you have to hold the F button and it will move to the next then you use the plus sign and then you need to move again so you press the F and hold it until it will move and then you just change it once it's changed to desire wheel diameters you press the power button and it's selected to leave this uh, settings you just press plus and minus and it will go back to normal to switch pedal assist level if you have a pedals you can go plus it will go up and minus will go down pedal assist level and actually with this bike particular use the pedal assist level as well when you use a throttle so with pedal assist one the speed will be only let's say um, 12 miles an hour of, like all very and you can also change if you want three pedal assist levels or five also in settings and that's how you use this um, uh, bike underneath right over here under control you can find usb port it's a rubber over here to cover it so there is a usb port as well so let's go for the speed test to see how it's uh, how fast it is uh, folding road also for the hill test climbing and we'll see if it can climb the hills For some reason it's still asking for pedal assist so I switch to three levels only so I'll put on the top level three so I'll go to the top speed I guess and let's go throttle only because there's no pedals and I already adjust the uh, wheel diameter to 23 inches on this bike so it's on GPS 21, 22, 23, 25, 26 32 miles an hour just in case I'll try to do another test this way because sometimes they are a little bit different maybe one mile maybe less let's go it's a very good acceleration very fast acceleration I can feel the thousand watt power turn. 24 miles an hour 25 26 27 28 29 I would say 31, 32, it's very solid based on GPS. I did adjustment because it came, I believe, with 20 inch wheel diameter, but should be like 23, 24. And I'll show you later how to make this adjustment, very simple in settings. And let's go for riding and see how the brakes work as well. Uh, the seating position is really nice on this bike. I like it, it's a, like almost like Immobed style but at the same time you can adjust the seat handlebar so i'll give you more better position i can hear a little bit the brake uh, touching the pads but don't be deal it's very easy to adjust uh, something i'm gonna do later i think it's the front but it's not squeaking at all very nice brake so let's test the brakes i'll stop like probably by the white car and it's already 25 miles an hour that's really well i love this line so as a mark on the ground so the brake can easily lock the wheel and the front and rear works really really good so you guys very premium quality parts on this bike amazingly how low price on this bike as well but as a running position is great the front suspension works very good on this bike as well the rear suspension uh, I didn't ride as much, I didn't do any jump yet, 
but this bike is not designed for jump but it should work as good because it's very like soft and comfortable so now i'm gonna go for a hill test and see how the bike will perform in the hill area and the bike does have very nice acceleration very nice it's, you can feel it like it's southern water water because pulling you very well and I already rode like four miles on this bike and let's see jump the jumping is good actually jumping is good need to adjust jumping is good the floor works good I think um, it's a little bit noisy because it comes with the fenders and the moving parts on the rear shock it's uh, uh, just uh, when you jump I can feel like shaking also but again the, the rear suspension works just fine um, it's accelerated really nice Actually, but acceleration it's amazing on this bike it's pulling you like ferrari but again you can buy one with the pedals and it will be amazing with the pedals i think you're gonna get like a really nice electric bicycle with the pedals for amazing price they have you may want to check link in description for extra 10 percent off on this bike nicely the phone even moved so it does have a really nice suspension works really great even like jumping it's not designed for jumping actually but it does great job all right so now i'm getting close to the hill and we're gonna test it to see if it can go climb to the hill because the motor boat it's climb i think uh, i don't remember exactly the speed was i think six miles now maybe i7 so let's see how fast it can climb to this hill it's very steep so but i still hope it will make it because it's very torquey bike very powerful and i have about 50 volt on display left from the battery and i only use the throttle because there's no pedals so i stop on the stop sign and now we're gonna go and see if it will make it so it's about 14 15 miles 16 on gps 17 and 12 I'm not sure why but my 360 camera always turn off over here always so it was 360 off we passed one point where the uh, bikes usually stop now we're going about eight miles an hour based on gps yeah eight miles an hour pulling strong seven eight seven so basically I would say about seven and a half miles an hour and we're almost there actually it's made it seven miles or eight miles an hour actually seven right now it's uh, not bad very good actually uh, you don't really need the pedals to go uphill if you live in a hill area you might want to get pedals as well if you live in a hill area because with with pedals you can go basically any hill on this bicycle so let me show you Let me show you how steep the hill is. So it's uh, really steep and you can see the valley. It's um, basically you can see whole valley because it's the highest position I guess. And uh, the steepest hill over here and the long. So usually motor may be overheated or even break down. So the bike made it. All right, so let's go check the brakes downhill. Uh, I think I'll go like, Probably 30 miles, I'm not sure how fast it will get there. I'll go 28 miles. Yeah, I don't want to 
burn the tires but the most important it's locking the tires so it means the brakes stopping the wheel really good and the front wood so it gave you a really good stopping power that's all what i want to show you i don't want to show you the distance because distance will vary on the personal like weight and uh, the brake uh, pressure so most important is uh, if it can lock the wheel and it can easily lock the wheel so the brakes are really good on this bike so let's talk about the bike uh, the handlebar is like 24 and a half inches wide you got uh, signal lights headlight horn which is great switching very easy between um, nice display I like the display because you can see everything very clear on the bright light usually when you get like color display sometimes it's very hard to see also with the glasses so display is great the folding got performed pretty well actually um, for folding bike it's a uh, very smooth ride and also stability really great because the frame it's kind of long longer than regular like uh, if you have like uh, folding bikes they usually not as long because the battery usually on folding bikes are not as large over here you get like 720 hours battery which is larger about 20 percent 25 percent larger than any regular folding bikes like electric xp 3.0 have only 10 uh, amp battery and if you pay extra you get 14 amp battery usually so this one is like bigger than electric xp long battery come with hydraulic brakes really nice fork hydraulic also the look it's great and also it comes with uh, all the safety feature headlight turn light signal and um, you have options to pick with the pedals or without pedals and that's a kind of makes also big difference but because there's no many brands offer you to get bike with specs only some people don't want to have pedals because they won't just enjoy the bike and this bike is powerful can take you on almost any hill and you can go off-road like uh, and it's like motorcycle basically it's a lot of fun to ride this bike without pedals but if you get pedals that's fine because with pedals you can get some workout I guess but uh, without pedals you still enjoy it and I think you should try it out check the link in description there will be extra 10% off with a code that and thank you guys for watching and I really enjoy riding this bike it's really fun highly recommend to check them out because everybody will just ask you where did you get it because it's turning heads it's a really nice looking bike and uh, thank you for watching again and I'll see you in the next video